we ask you to share with us your favorite female athletes and why. Here are some replies we got via Twitter. From Jam Lloyd. Jam Lloyd says, number one, Danica Patrick, Daytona Queen. Number two, Ronda Rousey, first UFC women's champ. Number three, Serena Williams, tennis superstar. From Mina Palenza, I love this answer. Akiko Thompson, Bea Lucero, and Elva Muros. Hey, I'm a 90s kid. Gino cannot relate. <laughs> yeah, because I love 2000s. <laughs> hey, never mind. How do you pronounce this? Milinset Dreis. Did I get it right? Dreis? Dreise? Or, anyway. <laughs> Abby Morano, because even though they lost, her determination and eagerness to win is superb. Okay, just say though, sobrang dami rin ang sumagot ng aragalang, pero <laughs> Anyway, Darren Mascarenas, Le uh, Leila Barros, and Maria Sharapova, I don't even have to explain. Hmm. From Sean Rivera, Sean says, mm -hmm. My queen, you, <laughs> you have Kim, the prettiest and the best figure skater in the world. From Zula Candelario, Cindy Klassen won six Winter Olympic medals in speed skating. All right. Okay, so we, we have to ask. Uh, we have some of the best female athletes in the Philippines right here in the studio with us. Uh, let's, uh, Monica, Monica. Let's, start, let's start with you. Uh, yeah, uh, you wouldn't think it, but I'd say Senator Pia Cayetano, because actually she is a marathoner and yeah. a triathlete, and she does win her age category for a lot of local races and even some international and I've always raced in same races as her and I like it's so hard I can't imagine she's a senator and then she has, she, she has she businesses has and children and <laughs> I, I like I'm pathetic so superwoman I'm galing niya yeah okay Ara um so can yung pinaka idol ko sa is si Chuck Rose okay um Former team captain din siya ng Lasal. Naabutan ko siya first year up. First year ako, siya yung ada senior nun. So hindi ko lang siya idol sa pagiging um, athlete, sa paglalaro ng volleyball. Um idol ko rin siya dahil sa pagkatao niya sa labas, sa pag sa labas sa pagiging athlete. Um yung isa rin yung leadership niya sa amin. Tapos yung pagiging humble niya. So yun lang, siya yung pinaka -idol. Abby? Mine is Jacqueline Alarcas. Senior din namin. Batchmate ni Ate siya. So, siya yung talagang same position ko. Sa kanya ko din natutunan kasi po yung, yung position namin eh. Back then, I'm really, ano, originally open spiker. And then, coach turned me to be a middle spiker. And at that time, si Ate Jack yung middle spiker na sobrang galing for me. Tapos, masyado siyang caring sa mga bata. Like, parang mother figure din siya. So, dun ko nakuha talaga yung pagiging caring sa mga so, bata. So, kaya ka naging mother ni mother. Sabi ko, older sister naging mother. Let's talk about women in sports. Women in sports, I guess, uh, now has, the level has risen so so high. Women's volleyball, in triathlons, you see the number of uh, females joining the races. Talk about uh, yung, how, 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 I guess, how good it is to see uh, the attention that's been given to UAP uh, women's volleyball and of course the pro league now in the PSL and of course the, the female athletes joining the triathlons. Let's, Abby. Um, siguro po yung instruments, with media, people um, are aware of kung paano kami um, magiging um, strong na, na babae and of course yung pagiging athletic namin, it's, ano, it's a way of um, influencing other aspiring volleyball players or kahit sino mga hindi naman players na nagsasabing gusto na nila maging player kasi nakikita nila kami naglalaro, ang galing ganyan. Yun din po, um, tsaka um, being an athlete is ano, a key to be a better person. Nagiging disiplinado ka, nagiging uh, maganda yung mindset mo, yung focus mo, and yung goal mo sa buhay, nagiging matuwid. Okay, Ara? Um, so, yun nga yung sabi niya, hindi lang naman yung pagiging strong ng ano, personality naman. Yung, syempre na ano din yung discipline, yung pag-iisip mo rin sa mga bagay, pati yung, yung influence, hindi lang rin sa pag ano, pag ano sa mga buhay. Marirelate mo naman siya kasi kahit saan sa buhay. Oh. Tulad nung sa amin, syempre may mga lesson ka natutunan bawat sa experience mo. Syempre yung mga lesson na yun, yun yung magpapa strong sa personality mo, yun yung magpapa, ano, sa, magpapamove sa'yo sa future eh. So, yun. 
Monica. Monica. I think in general, just that Pinoy's are more health conscious now, and there's just so many ways of keeping fit. Uh, if you see, like every Sunday in Metro Manila, there's a run race. Tapos, the yeah. paparang everyone is always posting some kind of selfie with Iron, <laughs> ganyan ganyan, <laughs> or CrossFit, whatever, di ba? So, parang it's really cool. Because for me, I get to travel then in Asia, Southeast Asia. The number of female participants here is just so much bigger than in those countries. So I'm really proud of that. The uh, Pinay is really getting into sports. Okay, well, before we wrap up the show, Monica, um, what, uh, do you have any message for people out there who want to get into the tri uh, to triathlons, um, even young girls? Yeah. Yeah, um, there's just so many events. So, but I yeah. think that's all we have for. <laughs> <laughs> How do they? How do they? Uh, what, what's your next race? What? Are, what? Are, what next event? What's your? Uh, oh, I mean, next? Uh, I'm going to Saipan in April. Yeah. So, okay. but then, as I said, every month there's always some kind of multi-sport event. There's an aquathlon if you don't have a bike, so that's swim, run, or duathlon, bike and run if you don't know how to swim, or just plain running. You know, everybody starts from like one discipline only, and then just gradually okay. move into triathlon. And of course, Ara, Abby. Yeah. Um, to your millions, millions. of fans. Millions. 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 Or Lady Spikers. I guess. Okay, so to all the supporters of the Lady Spikers, um, we are really, really um, thankful and blessed to have you guys, because you made us um, motivated and inspired to do so much more and to keep um, fighting. Um, siguro is a then way na na feel namin yung yung love ng mga supporters. Kaya talagang every training day, naisip namin na yung mga tao na hindi namin kilala na niniwala sa amin. Bakit kami magkaroon ng result para hindi maniwala sa sarili? So, yun, sobrang thankful kami. Thank you, thank you so much. Right. Um, thank you, thank you so much for supporting us. And sana next season mag-support pa rin kayo sana and mag-believe kayo. Um, we will do our best next season and thank you. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you, you ladies. Happy Women's Month. Happy women. Happy Women's Month. Yes, yes, women. I'm a woman too, in case you, you haven't noticed. I did not. Anyway. In the past like 15 years, I never knew that. I know it's really unfortunate. <laughs> and that is all the time we have for you guys tonight. Log on to our website www.solarsportsdesk.ph. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook, and download the Solar News app for everything in the world of sports. For everyone at the Solar Sports Desk, I'm Cheska Litton. And I'm Gina Rafina. Before we go, we'll leave you with a quote from. Mia Hamm, who once said, If you don't love what you do, you won't do it with much conviction or passion. I think we can all relate to this. Yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. We, we, all, we, can, we, we, we can, all can all relate in that all right. quote by Mia Hamm, one of the best football players to ever play in the world. And those are the sports stories for today, Friday, March 21, 2014. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be safe, Philippines. Good night.